Hey guys, Eric Fallon here, lifestyle portrait photographer based out of New York City. So I'm a big fan of those really warm sun flare photos that you might see in the advertisements. You know, the ones with the light streaming over the subject's shoulder, looks really warm and inviting. Well, if you're like most people, you don't have a beautiful sunset over your shoulder every single time you walk out to shoot. I'm gonna teach you with one flash and a gel how you can fake the sun. So no matter what time of day, no matter what the weather and what the temperature, you'll be able to go outdoors and create those beautiful sun flare photos to have the warm inviting light streaming right over your subject's shoulder. So this technique is twofold. The first thing we're gonna do is set the white balance on our camera to shade. That's gonna warm up all of the ambient light in your photograph. The second part is the flash. With the flash, I put two full cuts of CTO. It actually says it right on the orange gel. That's gonna warm up the light so it's more like the warm light of the sun at sunset. So when I say a full cut, you will look in your pack of gels and you're gonna find that there's gonna be a quarter, a half, a full. All that is is the intensity of the color of that gel. So a full cut basically means the whole shebang. It's all of the gel, it's extremely orange, and when you put two of those on it, it's really gonna make that light look orange. So by itself, it wouldn't make much sense, but in the context of a sunset, that nice warm light is exactly what we're looking for. Now, what you need to do is carefully place that right over your subject's shoulder. So what I like to do is I like to get my frame, and then I like to bring the light in, and then I reposition my frame slightly so that the light is just outside of the frame. So by doing this, you don't have the glaring light source right in your photograph that would distract from your subject, but it's there close enough that it's directly hitting the front of your camera lens, and that light going into your camera lens is what creates that beautiful flare that we're looking for. So the question is, why not just do it in post? A lot of people add sun flare in Photoshop. Well, the reason we don't do that is twofold. One, it's gonna look a lot more natural if you do it in camera. By having the light over the shoulder, you'll have the highlights, the direction of the light will work, and you'll have the beautiful sun flare in front of them. You get that dimension. Two, if you can do it on set or on location in the matter of a minute or two with one flash and a gel, why not? Why not save yourself 30 minutes to an hour or two in Photoshop when you can do it two minutes on location? So save yourself time and make your photos look more realistic with a technique like this.